Good morning sheep fans, Cammy's the name, sheep's the game, we're on for another video here and we're back to the normal sheep jobs, we're very excited about that, scanning is almost finished, we do have a trip to Orkney next week, but apart from that, we're done, I'm sure you'll enjoy that one, we'll see the Viking, let's talk about this, first of all, when people ask me, Cammy, why don't you just get your, or, or buy a new pickup, this is the main reason, because we've just bought this feed tower, and we've filled it with five tonne of Euros. I think they're about £390 per tonne for the Euros, and um, and they were bought a couple of months ago, um, knowing that this was coming and to try and get it at a cheaper price. Feed tower is a seven tonne feed tower, it was just about £6,000. Bought a second hand snacker, this isn't actually the second hand snacker, funnily enough. This is a, a mate's snacker, Owen, thanks for loaning the snacker because the one I've bought is down in Northumberland and I haven't been to get it yet. So the idea is that we're going to use the snacker. This is going to stop the rats eating all my cake and the snacker means I can feed the sheep on the move without them all grouping too much together. Hopefully it's a better process, we're about to find out. First time I've used it this morning. You're coming with me, well, you'll see all the teething problems as they happen. First things first, I need to get this set up so that we can get that under there now. If I just get my eye in here, I think this needs to go up slightly. How high up does this go? Yeah, it'll go up a bit. Right, let's try this. Okay. Let's try that there, see how close we are. First thing I will say, and I know where I'm going wrong here, is that, oh that's tied down there we go okay, let's see stretch this out, twist that bit twist that nice I think what I'm going to have to do is actually just bump it up on here. That's what, I think you're meant to just bump it on here and reverse right under it. But I'm trying to be clever because there's a wee ledge there. I mean, that is going to work perfectly, but it's not really how I'm meant to do it, I don't think. Anyway, if I could just pull up a fraction more, it would be better. What's stopping it? This little bit here's stopping it. Mm-hmm. How do we affect that? Maybe we can't. That's one little thing I would change then, I would take a wee cut out of that so we can go at more of an angle. I suppose the reason they'll have that is so that it's at a good angle to run, but anyway, let's just go for it, here we go. It is a lovely smooth action, I must say. Beautiful. Right, now I just need to wind this up. We'll get it sorted better for lambing time. For sure. Let's go feed some sheep. Just dawned on me that I don't realise... I don't realise? I don't know. Oh, hang on. I had this on here for... for landward. There we go. I just realised... I'll do this. See if Lizzie goes crazy. I don't know how much cake it puts out with each revolution so what happens is you push this handle and then the revolutions as it turns it drops the cake out from here but I don't know how much it actually puts out so we're going to weigh some first let's try that Okay, now I need to find out where my mum keeps her scales. Cooking scales. Here's my mum's kitchen, what's in her cupboards. Normal things. Oh, that's my tag reader. Oh, sorry, sorry. That drawer's broken. Every farmhouse has one. A broken oh, drawer. Scales. I'm not even sure what the scales would look like. Uh, 
Oh, ha, ha. there we go. It's always the last place you look. I'm not sure if you'll be able to see that there, but we'll try it. What are we going with? Pounds? Two pounds? Two pounds per sheet, would you say a drop? No, two pounds is too much. The one I bought is electric, then it tells you how many it's done. Although you need to keep moving with it, this one's quite nice, there's less stress. If you stop, it stops. Hey, let's go. Let's go feed some sheep. So this is a group of twins that we have here. I'm just speaking to the camera, I'm doing a bit less voiceover just now because it takes ages in the edit because believe it or not, it's hard to voiceover and get it right first time. I end up doing three or four takes. I gave them a bag, 25 kilos. So let's divide, well it's 25 drops, what am I dividing? It's 25 drops. So let's do, yeah, 90 sheep, 25 drops. Yeah, it's still plenty just now. We can increase that a little bit if I think we need it. Oh, push the handle. Right girls, it's going to drop behind the bike. It's confusing me as well. Here we go. Not bad, 25 drops. Let me just press that and let you see how they come out. Good, we do have some non-eaters here. So this is the triplets, they're coming in later today, that's the plan, get them fed nice and early and then we'll get them in because we have, you can maybe see where I'm pointing there, there's a lame sheep behind me there, and I think the one right next to her is lame as well, well there's, there's three here that are badly lame of a front foot. So we're just going to wander them home, they'll get some antibiotics and they'll get through the foot bath again. This has been, I don't know how you guys have found it, um, I suppose it's so wet early on in the winter, this has been the worst year I've ever had for feet been an absolute nightmare whether we've brought something in with something we've bought or whatever but just been an absolute we're probably gonna foot vax next year it's been that bad that's how much it's twisted me up but let's feed this lot we'll worry about the the, the feet later this afternoon Last lot, more twins. You've got to really concentrate though, if you're going to count them. That's one thing, like my mind wanders a bit too much for all that. Anyway, and just like that, that's the sheep fed. Well, here, we've got others to do. See here, we've not really gave the sheep too much. Loads left and I didn't even fill it, so I won't need to fill it very often. We are giving the sheep just a, a little bite just now. They are, I suppose, they're four and a half weeks out of la from lambing. So I would always advise if you're going to be feeding them, like if you're going to need to feed them heavy to get them through, feed them for about eight weeks. But we're, we're just trying to feed less and less all the time. Every year, just a wee bit less every year to find the sweet spot. Maybe we've left it too late this year. I don't think so. I think they're in good condition. And in good fettle. And this is just to give them a little bite so they're used to eating. So that they can come into the shed if need be. Because sheep that aren't fed can't really come into the shed. Or they end up just going down with, with staggers, twin lamb, all these problems. So yeah, that's, that's the thinking here. After they lambed, I'll give them as much as they want. I don't mind feeding sheep after they've lambed and they're producing milk. But I don't like feeding them now, and that's why I keep going on about just try, I'm trying to get these mules a bit smaller so that they don't need a lot of looking after. That's that's what we're going for here. Of course, always grateful to CF Moto, to Crystalix, grateful to everyone we work with because, yeah, we wouldn't be doing half this 
fancy stuff if it wasn't for them. So that's it for this one, cheap fans. We'll see you for the next one. Tell you, wearing a helmet's actually really good. See when it's windy and cold, you do that, your eyes aren't streaming the whole time. And in the summer, it stops you eating flies. I do like it. What about the halo? That's enough.